Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gates 3 Designs and I am back with another episode. Today we're here with Revit 2020 and I'm going to show you how to to create a custom line weight. Um, if you're doing something specific and you just want a certain line weight to show, you know, a projected geometry within your model and in this in this case we're going to do a two by six stud but uh we're here we're back with the the uh, long cabin project um which you can find at gates3designs.net and uh, you can go there and download this file if you would like to but uh let's go ahead and go to level one so in level one i'm looking down here and now and let's just turn on our line weights here so we can see the line weights in full effect if you just type in tl command you'll get your line weights shown um so you see we got some thick lines there and depending on where this is cut you will or will not see a top plate so if i'm just looking at this here um as a as a builder or as, or as a designer i feel like i'm looking at a top plate you know this continuous uh, voided space almost looks like just a top plate right and it's not because let's see if you click command vr our top cut plane is at seven foot six and i believe this is at 12 foot i'm sure let's just double check yeah top plate is at 12 foot so seven foot six you know was in is within here like somewhere so you're not going to see a top plate you're going to see two by sixes so let's go back here so i want to show some two by six within the floor plan and let's just do it a simple way i want to draw the lines in so but i want to create my specific line weights for two by six studs so let me show you guys how to do that okay so when it comes to creating anything like custom or specific you're typically you're typically going to find that in the manage tab uh, and you know you can manipulate some materials and do things like that but um, in the manage tab under additional settings just go ahead and click that and where you see line styles click line styles and down at modify uh, subcategories you're gonna go ahead and select new and let's see so specifically we're doing two by six studs right so let's just put in uh, two by six uh, stud okay uh, subcategory of lines click OK you're gonna assign a line weight here and one is very thin and I think it should go up to 16 okay yeah I don't want I don't want it to be as thick as that line there if you can see my cursor here I don't want it to be that thick um, and I'm not too sure how thick that is let's just go ahead and give it a three okay and just click okay right so if we go to detail lines we have two by six in here now let's click the two by six and let's go ahead and draw our two by six which is a one and a half by 5.5 inches okay and we're just gonna create that and let's go ahead and group this together okay and let's go ahead and place it where it belongs let's go ahead and just center or I'm gonna turn my line weights off for now bump that there so you see it fits perfect um, and let's turn our line weights on. So we got our two by six there, and they're typically 24 inches on center. Um, so let's go two feet. And let's just uh, multiply here. 24 inches, 24 inches, and let's do one more, 24 inches. Okay, so now you have a description of, you know, something to call out. If you wanted to just 
design this to call something out. All right, so we have our studs in here. Now, let's say I, I think three is a little too much. It's up to you pretty much, but let's just say we want to manipulate the two by six stud, right, that we created. And we want to manipulate that line weight. You just go back up into manage, go back here to additional settings, and go to line styles and hit this plus button. So you have your two by six stud up here. Let's change it to, let's just change it to one. Whoops. Okay. And it cuts down there. And uh, that's a, that's a nice, that's nice there. So then, then, so with the one, you can go ahead and uh, let's edit the group and uh, let's add our two by six. Let's go ahead and add an X because usually when you're cutting through something, specifically wood, you want to draw that little X in there like that. And that should change them all. There we go. So we got some uh, studs in here now. So um, there you go. If you want to create custom lines, custom line weights, go up to manage additional settings and, and, and start creating some things. Specifically here, we use two by six studs to create it. So uh, um, so there you have it. Again, um, we use the uh, long cabin project. Feel free to go to gates3designs.net and uh, you can download this 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 drawing and you can uh, manipulate it how, however you want thanks for watching i hope you found this informative and i'll see you guys at the next video thanks